Hello and welcome to another episode of The Grind, a video podcast where we used to drink coffee, but now we are sequestered in homes. <laughs> now we're <laughs> so just drinking. Now we're just drinking generally, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm watering down now. Yeah, um, so uh, my name is Arnell Alisea with Visionary Business Development, and I am here with Michelle from Bossibly. And it's been like about a month since we've talked, so um, we have a really interesting topic for you today. Uh, we're going to talk about this idea of uh, fistify voting. What is it? What's it used for? How to get it into your organization, and most importantly, when to use it. So, uh, right from the top, Michelle, hit me. So, fistify voting. What is it? Am I just doing this all day? It's a. <laughs> it's a technique. It's a. De- it can be a decision making technique. To, it's to really to determine if people are on board. Are they on the bus or are they not on the bus? And it makes it okay to have differences of opinion, to have creative conversations, passionate conversations, and gain either agreement or, or disagreement and understand it. That's the whole point of this technique. Great. So when we're talking about, um, you know, we were talking a little earlier about four different types of communicators, right? And so how would we use uh, Fistify voting in terms of communication within an organization? So I, I love to introduce a technique before you need it. I think that would be amazing. So, you know, before you have a situation where you have, maybe it's supercharged or you're not sure if people are on board, <clears throat> how awesome would it be to have socialize the technique ahead of time? So let's say you have a team or a business or a project or whatever, you've got a group of people that are marching towards the same objective, have the conversation of what, what about the fist to five, what it is, and make it okay to use. So let's talk about what it is. So it's the <clears throat> the fist is like if somebody if someone presents a fist, right? It's like hey, that's powerful, right? So the, the fist is like I am violently opposed, <laughs> violently opposed to what's going on, right? I do not support this. Versus five is if you hold up five fingers, like yeah, I'm on board. High five. Think about high five. High five. I'm excited. Let's get going. And then there's degrees into de- de- in between. So the maybe if you have one or two fingers up, you're like, I've got issues. I've got issues. I, I want to talk about issues, but I'm I can see there's merit to this idea. Or if you have three fingers up, three is like, yeah, I'm I'm on board for the most part, but I I'm want to talk about some stuff. And four is like, yeah, maybe minor stuff's going on, but I'm 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 supporting this idea. So, right, so- that scale. So it's, a, so it's a scale from fight me to jazz hands. Yeah, right, right. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I like that, right? <laughs> I like that's that. A, that's that's a really interesting. Good so, um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I actually knew that um, in the Occupy Wall Street movement, that's how they came to decisions. Uh, somebody would present an idea to the group and they would go like this if they yeah. approved yeah. it or they would go like this if they disapproved it. Interesting. And, you yeah. know, I mean, similar concept. Similar yeah, concept. yeah. Yeah, so this is actually pretty interesting. So, um, so in terms of introducing it to uh, into the organization, right? You're talking about like, uh, you know, do you have to like shop it around and get different people on board? Can you implement it on a team level, or does it have to be uh, absorbed into a, a, a company's culture? It does. I don't. I don't believe it has to be a culture thing. I can. I think it can be a team thing. I think it, it can be independent of an organization or a culture. A team can use it. You get, there are plenty of videos out there that, that explain the model. So I would encourage team leaders to use that as the video or the research and, and, and then socialize it within the team to say, hey, you know, I'd kind of like to use this and see if it works for us for us to make decisions, to make sure that we're on board and we have the dialogue before we implement something so that we're not going down a path that that people Mm -hmm. don't necessarily agree with right right now uh, now is it in something that you should use for all decision making or are there some some areas in which it is appropriate most appropriate to use the fist to five or is it kind of like a blanket well i think i think if it requires collaboration and group decision making then it's awesome there are going to be certain 
it, there are going to be certain decisions within an organization or a team that are not collaborative in nature, right? You know, potentially if you have to fire somebody, you might have to use this to fire, right? Okay. So, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, jazz hands are no, right? So I, I think that if the worst way to walk out of a building is everybody's just doing this at you. Hands. That might be bad. <laughs> that might be bad. So I think that if it's if it's a, a situation where a leader needs to make the decision solely and it's appropriate for that leader to make that decision, then I wouldn't use it, right? But if it's a team conversation, collaboration, then by all means use it. Yeah, I think that when we're talking about uh, the different types of communicators, I don't have like a specific example um, except for myself and I don't mind spilling the beans on how I work. Yeah. But um, a lot of times when I'm in a uh, an area where, you know, where, where brainstorming is required or decision-making is required and um, I'm obviously not passive by any means, but if I uh, see that there's not any movement happening uh, and I am an, an enemy of stagnation, like a, we, are, we are mortal enemies. So if I see that, that there's not a decision being made when their decision needs to be made, I will jump in and I will take the reins and I will take all the responsibility and risk upon myself. But that sometimes requires me to steamroll uh, other like the more passive group members, especially right, if you're going right. to be passive or passive aggressive, I just don't have time for that. So uh, those people end up getting cut out of the situations like that. So I would use Fistify voting to make sure that people are okay with. Uh, it's a really easy way for me to make sure that people are okay with what exactly. I'm doing. Like, hey, you know what? Like, I'm going to take the reins here, and I and I'm going to suggest that we do this to move uh, to move this uh, um, this operation Effort, forward or right. this strategy forward. Uh, this to five. What do you yeah. guys got for me, right? Beautiful. And and then and that that would be a great way to implement it in some of the brainstorming and operational sessions that I have. Uh, so then uh, I don't leave the that meeting, and then you know suddenly there's ascension, and not everybody's putting in their best effort because they feel like they've been minimized. So exactly. that's how I would use it. And, I think that's perfect. Yeah. I think that's perfect. Think of it like a stoplight, right? Green, yellow, red, right? So it, you're you're getting that those those visual cues, you're getting a, a red if it's a fist, you're getting a green if it's jazz hands, right? And you're getting a yellow if you're like, eh, maybe two, maybe three, I'm kind of in the middle, uh, I'm on the fence on this. Right, so yeah. I actually have a really good question is, okay, so I have a group, right? We have uh, a team of five and everybody's kind of right in the, in the three range, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we're not like vehemently opposed. Like you have some people that are vehemently opposed. Maybe one person is vehemently opposed. One person that's like, yeah, we're doing this, you know, jazz hands all the way. But yep. then you have some smattering in the middle of the other, the other three members. Uh, what do you do with that? Is there, do you revisit the, the topic? Do you uh, give the floor to the ones that are not in the opposite corners? What's the process so, there? So the, then you ask why. So then it's then you're wanting to know if you have somebody that has a fist or one, what is blocking it? What for you? What's blocking it? What? Why are you sharing? Why are you opposed? Help me understand that. And how can we fix it? And then even for the threes, what would make this better? What would get you on the bus? What What would create the jazz hand scenario for you? How mm. can How can we make everybody uh get on the bus so that and and make this solution better awesome yeah so the, awesome. Uh, that's that it would be it would be asking why why and how why do you feel that way and how can we make it better awesome and what well, do we need to do next so i think that that's about our time today but um i want to thank you as always it's amazing talking to you i just love the conversations that we have Me too. Uh, you know, just taking a topic like this and really like um, bringing it to an area where people can listen to this and then implement it in their lives. So thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Arnell. All right. All right. All until right. Well, you have time. a good day. And until next time, you've been watching The Grind and hopefully we'll get back to coffee sometime soon. Yeah. Bye, <laughs> All right. Later. Bye.